this speech was basically that I don't like personal speaking and also that I am a believer in sexual equality and I didn't think it was fair just for the male to speak. So I just followed the normal protocol of married life of uh, the wife speaks and the male listens. <laughs> OK, have a good night, everybody. Obviously very proud parents of Erica, who has achieved a lot so far in her life, both academically, professionally and socially. Uh, Broaden, uh, as has been discussed tonight already, is extremely smart, charming uh, and a complete gentleman, uh, whereas I was and am still much better looking. Erica, from the moment we met as adults, I think we both knew that we had found something special. I mean, I thought you were pretty special with the comment about how nice it was to meet someone tall at the end of our very first date. <laughs> the very first one. And I'm sure that you thought I was pretty special for taking you to a high ropes course shortly after when, I mean, you're just a little bit afraid of heights. <laughs> But I love our special moments. And looking to the future, I vow to make oh so many, many more of them with you. Erica and Broughton first met at high school and probably spoke less than 10 words to each other throughout their time at school without realising what lay ahead. Now, as fate would have it, their paths crossed again some eight years later on a train ride home from the city. Shortly after, Broughton asked Erica out on their first date to the movies. Erica, the first time I saw you and Broughton together, I knew that you were going to stick around, much like that bolognese stain in my Tupperware containers. But in all seriousness, Erica, you are absolutely beautiful inside and out. You're kind, you're funny, and you make Broaden happy in a way that I never could. Now Erica describes Broughton as laid back, relaxed and carefree. Whereas Erica is ambitious, fast paced and likes to be in control of situations. Now they fondly describe themselves as Broughton being the calm to Erica's crazy and Erica being the fire to Broughton's lazy. Broughton, I don't think either of us would disagree that I can be very indecisive at times, but the decision to let you into my life and to love you unconditionally has been the best decision I could have ever made. It's hard to put into words how much you mean to me but to put it simply, I get happy feet whenever I'm around you. Don't cry! <laughs> Stop it! Got my hair cry. <laughs> you can make me cry now! <laughs> Today is a celebration. It's a celebration of love, 
commitment, friendship and family and of two people who are in it forever and always. They want their wedding day to be a memorable one, full of fun and laughter, shared with all of you here. Today, promises become permanent and friends become family. Today, Erica would like to recognise how important her parents are to her. Erica offers her profound gratitude for all the love and care that you have shown throughout her life. And today, she thanks you from the bottom of her heart. I promise to always hold your hand, both figuratively and literally, as we continue to write our story. I'll pick you up during the lows and stand you on my shoulders during the highs. I vow to make you proud to be my wife every day, just as I'm proud to be your husband. They say a smile can light up a room, but your smile lights up my heart. I love the way you make me feel safe, no matter what's going on in the world. I love that you will go above and beyond for anyone and that you will support me no matter what. I also love your sense of humour and the fact you can lighten any situation and make me laugh. I could go on forever about what I love about you. What I love most about you is simply you. Erica, you seem to bring out the best in him. You make him complete, and for that, we are eternally grateful. So congratulations to you both on your wedding day. We hope that the two of you live a, a life together that is long. We hope that this is shared life of yours is full of love, joy, laughter, abundance, and many other good things. You are now a married couple. So we give you all our congratulations and we hope that you feel the outpouring of love and support for the both of you from this group that's here today. Over the years, it's plain as day that we've both grown together. We've grown through love, support, patience, understanding, and belief in one another. I'm sure I'll always be the calm to your crazy. <laughs> Just like I'm sure you'll always be the fire to my lazy, but I vow to be the best me and support you in being the best you so we can be the best us. I promise that I will always be there for you and will have your back no matter what. And most of all, I promise to love you forever and always. I feel so lucky to have met you, Broughton, and I cannot wait to share the rest of my life with you. When I think of us, I think of love. Plain and simple, unfiltered, unconditional love. Erica Grace Flew, my beautiful bride, my final vow is to love you forever and always. Today you have declared your love for one another through the commitment and the promises that you have just made. So it gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. Broughton, you may kiss your beautiful bride.